Okay. There you go. Ready? Hi, this is Will, the FPS RC channel. I am bringing you here today my first, I guess you say, voice on camera um, how to video. This will be the introductory into an upgrade kit which I have put together for you to upgrade your Terran boat to brushless. We're going to upgrade the hardware, make the pump better, and so that when you put your brushless motor in here everything runs nice and smooth and gives you a long performance life um, I was buying these from Australia this cable here as you see and he stopped making them so I've decided to produce them myself it's something I've been doing for a while I've been in RC for about 25 years and been doing flex cables and other fabrication for quite a, quite a while and so what we're going to do is what I'm here to show you is a complete upgrade kit for your jet pump. So this jet pump, as you can see here, has had some of the upgrades done to it already in this kit. So let me explain what this kit is. This is a flex shaft impeller. As you can see, it's got a flexible shaft. And the reason we do this is not just that the cable is flexible. It's that, that if you notice, I can actually push this this you know shaft through this uh, fairly easily and it's just held on by a very small knurled area right here that's all that's actually supporting the rotation of that impeller that's it that little tiny little knurled area and you can just see I just pushed it right out of there no big deal okay so this cable is completely bonded internally to the cable. So the impeller and the flexible cable are together. What we've also done is at this end, or actually at both ends, if you if you this was not in here anymore, you would be able to see that it has been hard soldered. So this is actually a hard area. And this is a flexible area down here. It's been hard soldered at both ends. This has been ground so that it will fit the bushing right here in your pump. As you see it fits very, 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 very nicely. You can push as hard as you want to on it. It's very, very solid. And this end here can be cut to whatever length you might need. And we'll cut them. A lot of times with the end runner motors, these need to be about 10 millimeters shorter. We'll cut them for you. As part of this kit, we include a, a new a coupler for your size motor. with the 2.3 millimeter, which is something you find on like a 2040 size motor. Or in a 28 millimeter motor, yeah, which is what I would recommend you use, 1 8 inch. That's a 3.175 millimeter. We also have a group of stainless steel screws, set screws, washers to upgrade all the screws on your pump. Along with that, we have a brass sleeve, brass water pickup, stainless steel linkage with rise, and your metal grate. This is what goes in right here. And we're going to show you how to install all of this in the next video. This boat here it was built completely on video. So you'll get to see how that goes together. So what this does to, for you is give you good quality hardware, makes the pump stronger, makes it work better, and all stainless steel hardware for your boat. 
so that you know you can use it for years and years to come this my recommendation is to run a 28 millimeter somewhere 45 to 48 millimeter length can somewhere between 3000 and 3800 kV that's where you want to be at about 11.1 volts so that's 3s lipo um, you can also run it 2s lipo you'll see a marginal increase when you go to 3s lipo um, they, these are very the performance on these is, is really well really good you, but what's important is we want to keep that power band on the motor at about 60 to 70 percent that gives you the longest run time and a 28 millimeter motor is not taxed at all this uh, what, what we have noticed is with with this motor this motor here tends to be kind of taxed it tends to uh, be right at its top power even on 2s lipo and it's just it's not doesn't perform that much better on 3s so we don't recommend this motor we recommend a 28 millimeter motor which is what we have in this boat and you'll get to see its performance so the next thing I want to show you which is very important is this drill bit not a standard size drill bit it's very sharp it's a high quality uh, you know industrial drill bit that we, that we sourced for you so you're getting this bit with this kit now so this is a special bit and it's specifically designed to allow you to press fit your sleeve in there this is a for if you're not a machinist what this means is this dr drills a hole just two thousandths of an inch smaller than this brass sleeve. The brass sleeve has a bevel on it, and that bevel allows for you to push it into the uh, pump. And if you need to, you can, what we normally do is we just normally use this and this shaft right here. We put that to that thing. You can, you can just tap it in lightly if you need to with a hammer, but it gives you a nice press fit so there's no glue needed. And the press fit just means that it's not going to rattle. It's not going to break. If you put, if you, if you drill a hole bigger than that and you put it in and glue it in there, it might rattle. It might break loose. This prevents that from happening because it's a nice press fit into your pump. And this one has been press fitted in. There's, there's one press fitted into this pump right here. We can actually lift this up here, pull that back, and as you can see, that has a brass sleeve press fitted in there. And you can see it does not move. It's very solid. Um, and your impeller will slide right into that just like that and it, it sits you know perfectly where it needs to be in the uh, in the opening there my grease the grease seal fell out so make sure you don't lose your grease seals but as you can see it just falls right out there's, there's no 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 uh, there's plenty of clearance this is what's called a clearance fit inside of there that's what we want with that. It's supported at both ends by brass, uh, both ends and then by brass sleeve in the middle. So it's very well supported. So I hope this has been informative. The next video will show you how to install this. The next the video after that will show you how you install the rest of the electronics and, and get it set up. And then the next video after that will show you how we'll show you this boat in the water running. This is Will from FPSRC Channel. And if you have any comments, questions, um, if there's something else on video that you'd like to see, please make a comment. Let me know what it is, and uh, we'll try to uh, accommodate that in the future. I'm, I'm looking for ideas to uh, to put on video. So, something you want to see done, um, if you want to see how we solder speed controls, or how we uh, do things with servos, or radio systems, or whatever it may be, please uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you want to see, and we'll see if we can't get that done here in the future. I'm going to make a list of stuff. We might do something like um, you know a Saturday night sit down or something one day and kind of go over some of some of the, some of your questions and and uh, see if we can't answer some of them. But uh, thank you very much for watching at the FPSRC Challenge for your your enjoyment. And uh, I will uh, please watch the next video. Thank you. Okay. You Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> that thing is stuck <laughs>